Hello, hello. Welcome to 13 Signs Tarot. I'm Harley. I hope you're doing well. This is another pick a card reading. This is going to be uh, what's going on in this connection. We're going to be looking at how this person's feeling about you and where I see this connection headed for the next three months. Okay, so we're going to look at the next three months with your person. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this reading. I know um, there's been a lot of requests for pick a cards and I've just been trying to do what I see in the comments. Okay, I am also going to do a career pick a card after this one so make sure you check that out i know you guys are interested in love but make sure you look at your finances too ladies and gentlemen please it's so much important okay finances and love go synonymous this is why when i do career readings love always usually comes up okay so i'm going to be quiet now i'm going to let you guys pick your piles we have black tourmaline we have quartz and we have jade i know you guys can't really see it but jade is over here okay and that's the third pile i'm not working with a lot of room here okay Okay, so pile number one. Let's pick the black tourmaline. We're going to move our other two piles out of the way really quick. Okay, so this is for the black tourmaline. So this is going to be how your person's feeling about you and where I see the connection headed for the next three months. Okay, um... What was I going to say? If you need a personal reading after watching this, you want to check out the link in the description box. There is a discount code that is listed down there for the month of April. And you can ask me a question and I will answer you on that website. Okay, so check that out. All right, so your card is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So with that card, the good thing is we know your person loves you, right? because their card is express your feelings, express your love. So this person definitely loves you. So if you were questioning that before watching this, this person does love you. Now, I can't say that they're acting right, but I can tell you they love you, okay? So let's see how this person's feeling about you. Let's see. Show me how this person is feeling about my pile number one, my black tourmaline. How's this person currently feeling towards them, spirit? Ooh, we have the two of wands and we have the three of wands. So this is an interesting thing. So for a lot of you, pile number one, your person is still in some sort of karmic relationship or they're with someone else, okay? They may also feel like you have someone else. This person feels like they are in love with you, but for some of you, you are stuck between two people or they are, okay? Because they're looking at you as the two of wands. So like I said, it's either that they have another party or you do, okay? And if you have another party, this person really doesn't care, like I'm telling you guys right now. But the three of wands here, they um they feel like their ships have came in with you, okay? Like they feel like they have hit the jackpot. The ships coming in basically means like they see their future. Like they finally saw what they wanted because the three of wands is what you want, what you've been trying to manifest. And they, they feel like you are what they wanted and what they've been trying to manifest in their life. Even if there was someone else, they feel they were wishing and hoping that they had a better person that they connected with more a lot of you this is your twin flame or your counterpart and they didn't necessarily know who they were going to manifest or they didn't necessarily know wishing and hoping and um looking outside of their relationship was going to bring such a strong connection but they did it, it it happened okay so for a lot of you this could have been unexpected like maybe this person didn't expect to meet you but they definitely feel like um their ships have came in with you for a lot of you that uh watching your masculine, okay, or you're you're maybe a masculine watching could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, see this person's married for a lot of you. They're married or in their they're in a long-term relationship. They've been in this long-term relationship for a long time. For some of you, it's been 10 years, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. But you definitely have them wanting to leave this person, okay? Go, let's get us more about how this person feels about pile number one. How does this person feel about pile number one? Show me more about how they feel. I know they love you, but show me more about how they feel about pile number one, please. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the Mystic Mondays deck, if you guys were wondering, for my readers out there. <laughs> King of Wands, he was at the bottom of the deck. That's why I said some of you masculines are maybe a fire sign, but they want you. This person is looking at you like 
they are into you. This person is very passionate about you. And I feel like if you resist this person or move away from them, it makes them want you more. Yeah. See, they're in their head. They're back and forth about leaving, going back and forth between you and someone else. They want to leave, but they're not ready is what I'm getting. Some of you just are Sagittarius or an Aries, very strong, or you're watching this. Yeah, they're scared. This person's scared to make a move. They're scared to leave. Let's see. What is this fear? What is this fear? Why is this person scared to leave where they're where they're at? The seven of wands. They feel like this person, this third party will make it hard for them in life with the seven of wands. This third party is blocking their doorway to you. How scared? The ace of swords. So they may be afraid of divorce or they may be afraid of some legal ramifications for leaving this person. Whether it be them having to pay spousal support, child support, custody battles. They feel like it's going to be a battle from this third party to leave, to go towards you. So that's kind of why they're scared. All right. They don't know if they're up for the fight. Yep. See, a lot of them are still married to a queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be an air sign or you can be an air sign. But I feel like this is the third party. The queen of swords in this position where she's at, she's unruly. Okay. She's controlling. She's dominating. Um, she does use magic. She uses uh, tarot readings. She does whatever she needs to do to keep her man. This is the ring the alarm. Beyonce, if you ever heard that song, this is her in this position right here. Okay. Not saying that's always the queen of swords. I'm just saying how she's showing up in this particular reading is that ring the alarm energy. I've been through this too long, 10, 10 years. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. That's how this queen of swords is third party is seeing it. I'm not saying it's right, but they are blocking your person's way to you and they're not making it easy for your person to leave. Okay. So let's see what's going to happen for the next three months in this connection. What's going to happen in the next three months? The Knight of Pentacles. So this connection is going to move forward, but it's going to be very slow. And it's because of this unruly Queen of Swords. Like your person is still looking at this Queen of Swords and they're kind of like intimidated. This is like um, their third party might control them with finances. There's something here where this third party has an upper hand on your person. Okay. Um, your person could be younger than them or just a less established. Like this person is very good with business or very career oriented. She could be a doctor or something with a very good career and your person may not be in that same position. So they don't have as much power as this Queen of Swords. So they're slowly moving away from this Queen of Swords. Show me more. They are going to offer you a commitment, but it's going to be slow. And it's because of this third party. Like, it's not because they don't love you. It's not because they don't want to be with you. It's because this Queen of Swords is going to make it very hard for them. Like, even, yeah, the Hermit. So some of you are dealing with a Virgo. They may separate from this third party. They may actually get physically separated or file from this person, file separation. I'm seeing a lot of communicating with this person from afar. So even if you guys aren't seeing each other a lot, there's going to be a lot of texting back and forth with this person. Show me the next three months. What's the result of the next three months in this connection spirit? Because the way I'm looking at these cards, the Knight of Pentacles is looking towards you. But this Queen of Swords literally has her hand up, like in his way. Like, nah, bro. I don't even know what you're looking at over there. What is over there? There's nothing. Like, what are you looking at? There's nothing over there. Like, that's how she is. Like, what are you talking about? You want to leave? He's, she's like everywhere he is. She's right there is what I'm getting. <laughs> Oh, Lord. What's the outcome for this connection spirit for the next three months? What's the outcome for pile number one? What's the outcome for pile number one? The nine of cups wish fulfillment. So I feel like the next three months are actually going to be pretty cool. Really romantic, kind of slow, but I feel like things are going to still move forward. This person is kind of want to show you. Yeah, the star card, two cards of wish fulfillment. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, could be a Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? But there's going to be wish fulfillment in the next three months. So whatever it is that you want with this person, I feel like you can have it. You just have to be um, flexible with this person because I'm telling you, I don't think it's that this person doesn't want to be with you. I think that this Queen of Swords is making it hard for them, okay? So I hope that this helps, pile number one. That's what I see for the next three months in this connection. And that's how this person is currently feeling about you. Please give a thumbs up to the reading if you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. And if you need to talk to me for a personal reading, you can check out the link in the description box or you can email me, okay? Bow pile number one. All right. So let's look at pile number two. Pile number two, which is the quartz crystal. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's a need to love yourself first in this connection when it comes to this person. This might be the toxic pile. 
Pile two be getting toxic sometimes. I hope it ain't, but we'll see. When that comes out, there's usually some effery going on. Let's see. Let's see. Show me what's going on for this person. How do they feel about pile number two? And where is this connection headed? Show me how they feel about pile number two, Spirit. How are they feeling about pile number two? This deck is a borderless um, Rider White deck. I don't know which, which what it's exactly called, but it's a borderless deck. Show me what they feel for pile number two. The Knight of Cups, interesting. So you do have someone who loves you, but they're kind of a lover boy. Yeah, this person is a little bit of an F boy or an F girl with this magician and knight of cups. This is someone who does have love for you, I feel, but they may be a little manipulative. Um, I see why you need to love yourself first with this person, okay? Because this person could love bomb or they do love you, but they're like immature or a little childish here. They don't stay. And this person's single from what I can see. With this Knight of Cups, this Magician, this Four of Swords, they're single. Like this person is not like in a relationship. Like a lot of these piles I see third party, if they are in a relationship, they're on a break from that person with the Four of Swords. They could be in a relationship with the Libra and maybe they're on, they're on a break with that person. But I kind of feel like they're single. I don't feel like this person is in a relationship, especially with this Magician card, okay? They're single. They feel that like you're single too. This could be a Virgo for some of you. I'm seeing Aries, Gemini, Virgo, and Scorpio. What's this magician here? Hangman in reverse and the page swords in reverse. Okay. So, all right. I get what happened here, pile number two. So this actually probably was toxic at some point. We have to acknowledge that. And as a result of that, you cut this person off. You started to love yourself. You moved away from this person. You were like, nah, I'm good. You're doing some pretty toxic stuff and I'm not with it. So there was, this could be you healing from this person. Okay. Some of you watching can be Libras. Um, Pisces I'm seeing as well here. So what happened was you cut this person off. You, you started to love yourself first. You got tired of whatever games that they're playing because this for a lot of you is your masculine. So there was like maybe a runner chaser dynamic here. Um, I'm also seeing that this person can be a, a little manipulative. This person is very powerful, I'm getting. Like, this person has a lot of power. This person, sorry, OCD moment, OCD moment, sorry. This person is very powerful, and um, they have a lot of ADHD and OCD moment. They have a lot of control over others. So it could be that they were trying to exert that control over you or manipulate you and play games, and you cut this person off. As a result of that, with the hangman in reverse and the page of swords, I feel like this person was watching you for a while. Like this is someone you could have not talked to for at least a month or something. They were watching you on social media with the page of swords, okay? For some of you, or they were inquiring about you. This person has some sort of way of finding out what was going on with you. And I don't know if you started dating or this person just felt like they needed to come back around. But I do see this person coming back around. If they haven't came back around to you yet, then they definitely plan on it with this magician here. They plan on apologizing to you. But they also want a major, they want a bigger offer. See, there's a lot of guarded energy here. They think that you're guarded, like they want to offer you love, but you're guarded towards them, Um, obviously, right? Because they were doing the most, they were doing the whole most. So they want to come in and offer you love, but they know that it's going to be hard to get your guard back down. So how does this person feel about pile number two? What are their true feelings? The six of pentacles. So they do love you. They see a balanced relationship with you. They do want to work things out with you, okay? They do want to work things out with you. They feel like you're very balanced is, is what I'm getting. Like maybe this person wasn't, maybe this person was like a party animal or a player and um, you got tired of it. Yeah, this is a lot of you. This is your twin flame. Okay, this is a divine masculine or divine feminine for the males or masculines watching. Okay, um, but they have a lot of love for you. This person has a lot of love for you. They just want to work things out with you is what I get, pile number two. This person wants to work things out with you. Pile number one was someone who was like, they couldn't make a move. This person is single and clear and free and can make a move. The only thing is, is they're going to have to figure out a way to get you, get you back, your guard back down with them. Okay. To, they're going to put in the work to see this two of cups through. So you have someone who loves you. They're a little bit of a a-hole. 
um, or a DI. Okay, but they love you. You know what I'm saying? They 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 do. Um, and I feel like this person doesn't want to watch you from afar anymore. This person may be a little controlling too. Like this person may be a little possessive over you. I'm not getting like toxic possession, but they don't like if they see you with someone else. What what is causing this person to come back around? Because I feel like it may be some competition with this magician here, but we'll see. What is making this person come back around to pile number two? What is making this person come back around? The strength in reverse. Maybe because you gave up on them. Maybe that's what it is. Or they can't resist you. They can't resist anymore. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. You um, called their bluff. You stood your ground, pile number two. You gave up on this person and they can't resist anymore. For a lot of you, this is a Leo. Yep, you moved on from this person. You ain't got time. I like it, pile number two, six of swords. Some of you may even block this person with the high priestess and the seven of wands. But this is your uh, masculine. This is your masculine for sure. This is a twin flame. Pile two is definitely twin flame. Okay, pile number one was, oh, maybe, but this is definitely twin flame. These are my twin flame cards, especially with the two of cups. Okay, this is all twin flame for me. Magician here, high priestess here, right? So you put up heavy boundaries. Some of you block this person um, and they're trying to figure out how to get back around to you now that they got blocked. Um, for others of you, you just put boundaries up and you stop. You started loving yourself. OK, this might be my pile of shit. Um, you started loving yourself. You know what I'm saying? You really started going within, which a lot of people struggle with this, especially I, I have. I'm not knocking feminine energies. I work with a lot of women and I think that's one of my callings is to help women because I've been through a lot. Trust me, it took me a lot to get to where I am. Okay, from the quiet little girl in the corner who just read Harry Potter books and Narnia books to what's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> it took a bit to, for me to get there. So I think I'm supposed to help other women get to that. Not, you know, cocky, but we know our worth energy. I was just talking to one of my friends before I started doing this reading. And, you know, a guy, not to put her business out, but she, I'm not going to put her name out, but a guy wanted, wants a baby from her, but he don't want to put a ring on it first. Um, excuse me. And she's like, well, I mean, at least he wants to have, a no, 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 at least nothing, at least nothing. Like our ancestors used to ask for houses, acres, marriage. Like we ask for so little now from our partners and we are afraid that they won't give it to us. Fine. Hold out. High priestess. I, I deserve better. I'll wait. Someone else will give it to me. I know that I deserve better. That is what I told her. You deserve a ring, okay? You, like Nicki Minaj said, um, I ain't pushing out his babies until he bought a rock, okay? That's what was that in Chun-Li, okay? So the same thing, like, and it, it doesn't have to be, like, everybody's standards are different. I'm not saying you have to get traditional married, whatever, but if that's a standard that she has for herself, she should not you know, break that standard. Okay. Like, no, this is about self-worth. Okay. Love yourself first. This is about self-worth pile number two. And we talked about this. If you guys continuously pick pile number two and you've watched another reading, like the last reading I did, then pile two, this is just another continuation of that last reading that we just talked about. Cause I remember it. Okay. So let's see what's going to happen in the next three months. Queen of swords. Okay. So you do have an air sign for some of you that's going to be coming back or your air signs watching Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel like you guys are going to have a very serious conversation with this person over the next three months, but your boundaries are still up with this person. Let's clarify what this conversation is going to be about. Yep, this person's going to want to talk. I'm sorry, especially if they're a Gemini, Virgo, something like that. They're Libra, Aries. Um, they're going to want to apologize to you, okay? But the thing is, this person's coming in as a page. They know that they're not on your level. And you're kind of, your back is turned to this person. So either way I put it, I, I mean, they're not looking at each other because they're not even on the same level. So I don't know if you guys are going to want to talk to this person. I do see them trying to apologize to you. I see you being very cutthroat, not cutthroat, but very straight and to the point with this person. Like, what do you want? Like, you know what I mean? The Wheel of Fortune. You can't avoid this conversation, though. It's faded. So for those of you who have this person blocked, see, and you're like, oh, this person's not going to talk to me. We're not going to have this conversation. They're going to bump into you, maybe at the grocery store. There's going to be some sort of faded union or conversation that happens with this person over the next three months. What's going to be the result of this com this uh, conversation for pile number two? What's going to be the result? The seven of swords. Ugh. Well, let's see. That's not that's not always bad. Let's see what's surrounding it, though. We got to look at it because the seven of swords is about communication. Seven of cups, temperance. 
So you guys are going to talk a lot. Maybe this person ghosted you in the past. Some of you are fire signs watching this Aries Leo Sagittarius very strongly here. Um, you guys are going to talk about the deception. You're going to talk about the ghosting. You're going to talk about why did you make me wait? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm not seeing a full blown commitment from this person right away either, because I feel like you're not, you don't trust this person. That's what I feel like is, is, is what's going to happen. This person got you to the point where you don't trust them. Yeah. You're kind of wanting to be single right now until you can fully trust this person. So I see a lot of talking and I've seen this person kind of sucking up to you because they know that they messed up. All right. So that's what I see for you, pal number two. I hope that this helps. Please leave a comment below if this resonated and a like on the video. It does wonders. You guys wouldn't have no idea how much YouTube cares about that stuff. Um, if you need a personal from me, you can check out the link below. You can ask me a question. There is a discount code that's being offered throughout April. And um, anything else you need from me will be in the description box, okay? So see you later, pal number two. Okay, so pile three... Pile three, pile three. We have the jade here. Jade is so beautiful. What's up with the jade? The jade. Okay, so this is soulmate. So number three, you guys have a soulmate on your hands, okay? Um, this is the golden, let me get right, golden wheel tarot. Oh, I just dropped a whole deck. No, come back. Sorry, pile number three, you guys. Just give me a second. I'm getting it together. My, um, one of my decks just fell in my sink. And luckily it wasn't wet, but yeah. All right. So we have soulmate here for pile number three. This is the golden wheel, golden wheel tarot though. I just wanted to make sure I was saying it right. All right. So let's see what's going on for pile number three. So you have a soulmate on your hands, pile number three. What's going on for pile number three? How does this person feel about pile number three? How does this person feel about pile number three? We have, wow, so this is going to be kind of like pile number two because we have the seven of wands in pile number two. So we have the six of wands and we have the seven of wands. So this person um, is your soulmate. For some of you, could be a Leo, I'm seeing here. Sagittarius. Um, this person, uh, pile number three, you are someone who's getting a serious amount of attention right now. They're thinking of you as a six of wands. So whether this is attention in your job, uh, in your life, maybe some of you are influencers or you're getting promotions. This person, if, or you're just dating, they're seeing you getting a lot of attention right now. And they're feeling like you have blocked them out or you went to this route of being independent because you can see the wolf here. And we always say, what about wolves? They're loners, right? So for a lot of you, this person sees you as very independent. Pile number three, you are very independent. It. like this person feels like you don't need them and you've put up some barriers i feel like you kind of had the flex on this person a little bit pile three i think you had to show this person who you were that's what i'm getting and you conquered you conquered like look at him conquering the wolves like he got them sleeping and they they probably came at him but he he dominated them so this person sees you as very enterprising domineering like not in a i don't know if it's in a bad way or not but they see you get shit done is what i'm saying pile number three okay so we have the six of wands and the seven of wands here. So let's see. They feel like you're defensive. That's the thing, though, what I'm seeing. Like they feel like you don't need them or you've, you've gotten to this point where you don't need them. You're very independent from this person. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So for a lot of you, pile number three, this person is a karmic, I feel. I kind of get that this was somebody, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. I kind of feel like this person was meant to show you um, that you could, that you were fine. I think this person was was meant to keep take you out of um, codependency because I think some of you had this issue with being in relationships. This person really made you like stunt on your own, like come up on your own and shine on your own. Why is the seven of wands here? queen of pentacles are you kidding me yeah so some of you this could be an earth sign a capricorn taurus virgo you might have blocked this person or you're just so focused on your money like this person sees that you're not you don't you're not worried about what they're doing you're worried about your money like i really see this as a glow up i think this is somebody that was supposed to trigger you to focus on your career and your money why is the six of wands here why is the six of wands here because you're getting some sort of promotions or accolades this person thinks of you as the six of wands. 
why spirit why do they think of pile number three as the six of wands the four of cups and the king of wands some of you are definitely fire signs watching this or your person's a fire sign i feel like this person feels like you're uninterested in them anymore like you're not interested in them anymore because you're getting so much attention from other people you're not interested in them so your person could be a capricorn you could be a capricorn i'm seeing leo here airy sagittarius all right so why is this person showing up in the reading then? I feel like this person wants to come back to you or they want a second chance with you, but they feel like they can't get to you anymore because you, you've gotten so independent. Your defenses are so high. This is kind of like pile number two. The four of pentacles and the two of cups. Okay, so for a lot of you, this person is still in a relationship with a fire sign that really drives them crazy, Okay. I don't know if this is twin flame or karmic. It's a soulmate though. I definitely feel like this is someone who's supposed to be in your life. They're holding on to a fire sign or a fire sign is holding on to them. Okay. Some of you definitely can be fire signs watching this like Leo's Aries Sagittarius, but their person outside of this connection may also be a fire sign. I definitely feel like this person has some sort of third party. Okay. Um, you can be blocked. You could have, you could block this person out because you know, they have a third party. Yeah. You're just not wanting what this person has to offer because you don't need them. You don't need the games. You don't need the third party stuff is what I'm seeing. And they're really holding on to this third party for money or this third party is holding on to them. I see that they may be dealing with somebody that's holding on to them. What does this third party have to say? Cause I'm seeing three people here. We got the King of Wands. We got the Queen of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Wands. So there's three people here. That's kind of why you're not worried about this person. The Ace of Swords. Yeah. And the Knight of Pentacles. One more. They are holding on to a fire sign or someone else. Yeah, there's a third party here. Maybe a Gemini, Virgo. They could have a child with this person. I feel like they don't want to divorce from this person. They're maybe afraid of legal um, re repercussions with um, this third party. This is kind of like pile number one and pile number two. One more the moon yeah there's fear here there's there's something here that this third party has over them this is just like pile number one so this is kind of the same energy here they're afraid of some sort of action that's going to be taken by this third party if they were to go towards you and you know this you know this already yep the high priestess you know this you know this for some of you this could be your counterpart is this their twin flame spirit this is twin flame energy some of you are readers or uh, spiritualists healers in this pile or you're just very intuitive mm. is this, their... this is extremely karmic i don't know this I, this is a capricorn here there's a scorpio is this twin flame spirit yeah this could this is definitely twin flame i feel for a lot of you yeah mm-hmm yeah, this is your twin flame for a lot of you, for some of you, not all of you, but this is your twin flame, especially if they're like a Capricorn, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Gemini. But they have something here that's holding them back the past. Six of Cups, Devil, and the Two of Pentacles. It's someone they have children with. It could be addictions. You've been waiting on this person for a little while, pile number um, three. This could be seven years for some of you two years it's going on two years there's been some sort of weight with this person and now you've gotten so far from this person like you've gotten so independent you don't really need this person anymore like you're not interested in this person that's what i'm getting very much so so let's see how this person feels about you overall though how do they feel about pile number three the sun some of you are leos they you make them very happy this person feels very happy with you they want to take risk with you yeah, you're like very positive in their life. I feel like this person has tried to move on from you or they tried to make it work with this third party. They still are, but they can't leave you. Like there's something about you that they can't leave alone. You shine too bright, pile three. You shine too bright. You shine like a Leo, even if you're not a Leo, okay? So let's see what their next actions, the next three months um, is the world card. So let's see what this next three months is about for pile number uh, three. What's the next three months of this connection gonna look like? What's the next three months? Wow. Okay. The Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Is this... Let's see. So I feel like... Um, okay, is this them leaving? Let's see. Let me just clarify. Is this pile number one leaving or they're masculine? Or they're feminine? Depends.
I feel like one or two or things are gonna happen here, but I'm trying to get one more. For some of you, there's gonna be a breakup with this person if they're an earth sign. Yeah, I feel like some of you are gonna be breaking up with this person if they're an earth sign because you're tired of the waiting. This was some sort of karmic cycle with this person and I feel like you're gonna end this. Even if this is twin flame, if this is a soulmate, I feel like you're gonna walk away from this person in the next three months, okay? I don't see the death card here though or the ten of swords, so I don't feel like this has to be an ending of all endings, but I do feel like if this person doesn't make a decision or make a move to leave this third party, you are gonna walk away from them, especially if they're an earth sign. Like Capricorn comes up a lot here. The Hierophant. Yeah, you want marriage and stability. You want something solid. What does this person want with pile number three? Do they want something committed with pile number three? Do they want something committed with pile number three? The emperor, yeah, they do. They want something committed. So I think that you're gonna walk away from this person in the next three months, but I think they're gonna come back to you and you're gonna, this person wants to marry you. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. So you may walk away from this person. I honestly, pile number three, I think you're fine without this person right now. You're good. Even if you don't think you are, pile number three, you're not pressed on this person. If this is someone that you're obsessed with and you can't feel like, you feel like you can't live without, this is not pile three. Pile three, you are very independent from this person. Okay, so you have no problem walking away from this person but they're not going to leave you alone i don't think i think this person actually wants marriage so you're going to have to let this person down real easy if they don't if you don't want them anymore okay so that's pile number three thank you so much for watching this pick a card if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a comment and a like it really helps me out if you need to talk to me about your own personal situation there is a link below that you can contact me and get your questions answered um and anything else you need from me make sure you email me okay i will talk to you later bye